Well, I mean, you could have knocked me down with a feather when she suggested it. Berry picking. We'll be wearing matching hats next. Well, I doubt whether you'll find enough blackberries round here to fill them too. <laughs> oh, I'll find enough to make you my speciality. No man can resist my blackberry and apple crumble. <laughs> oh, I. <laughs> hey, you're not jealous, are you? No, just curious. So, how is she? Well, you know. Uh, still not talking to us, I suppose. Is it any wonder? Why, what's been said about us? Nothing. Why should I heed anything said about you, any road? Diane's my only concern. So she'll be going in for tests soon. It was yesterday. You're all heart, aren't you? I do care about her, you know. It's not me you should be trying to convince. Did they say when you might expect the results? Should be next week sometime. Tell her I was asking about her. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I'm... I can't go. My hip's giving me trouble. Oh, that's a shame. I was really looking forward to it. Well, there's nothing to stop you going on your own. No, I suppose not. Would you mind picking some for me while you're out? No problem. I'll pick as many as I can. Thank you. Oh, and don't forget where I told you to look. Oh, oh right. Bye! What's this? That's the best thing a girl can be in this world. A beautiful little fool. Just give it me back. Why aren't you doing normal stuff instead of moping around this place reading that rubbish, eh? It's not rubbish, actually. It's a classic. It shows how much you know. But then again, what can you expect from someone who starts reading the paper at the back page? If it's a clip round the ear you're after, you're going the right way about it, lady. Hey up, Sherlock. Hot on trail, are you? It's no joking matter. Give over, woman. You don't seriously think that Pearl's out to swindle Len? Lord knows what she's up to. But if I'm right, then I'll find the answer at the library. Oh, I Reckon he's listed in who's who. Well, they're bound to have something about him in their newspaper records. Bayek, you know what your trouble is? Too much Miss Marple. Oh, mock all you like. But there's something more to this Frank Bernard business, and I intend to get to the bottom of it. Why don't you take the day off? Give yourself time to recover. I'd rather keep busy. All right. Well, I don't want you overdoing it. Uh, saw Val earlier. Oh, I. She was asking after you. Hold the front page. Val Lambert has a thought that isn't about her. <laughs> oh, that's probably the hot and curry you're now looking for a quote. <laughs> Hello. Yes, speaking. So soon, but I only had them done yesterday. Is that the hospital? Can't you tell me? All right, I'll be in at two. Thanks. Well? Uh, I have to go in and see the consultant today. The results are back. That's quick. Yeah, and I'm not sure it's a good thing. Here we go. Hiya. Oh, Hiya, <laughs> Gabby. Any luck? Oh, well, the only posts I've been able to find you need qualifications for. Oh, never mind. Something's bound to turn up. And if it doesn't, you know you'll always be needed here. Where's Ethan? I've been uh, looking for him to get in this back. He's probably with me. I can pass it on to him. Yeah, we'll see him before he goes back to the airport. Why, where's he going? Nowhere. Neve's going back to Africa. What without Ethan? How long for? For good, I think. Really? It's a shame. It seems like a really nice couple. Come on, now. Diane, when you're ready, Jack's waiting for you in the car. Right, OK. So you're going to be all right? I mean, do you want me to come with you? 
No, you say, love. I'll be fine with Jack. You sure? Yeah. This won't take long. Okay. You're right, Val. Fine. Nothing having me big gob way I'd shut wouldn't cure. Oh, rub somebody up the wrong way. Rodney. Me and him had the mother of all ding dongs. I think it's over. Oh, don't be daft. One row. Where's your stamina, woman? Me and Viv, we fight all the time. She's a very fiery woman. Well, whatever fire Rodney had's fizzled out. He's blanking us. He is. Probably making you sweat. Of course he is. The old treat of mean keeping keen ploy. Hey, two can play that game, can't they? Sure. I'll just act like I don't care if it's over. He'll panic, do a U-turn, and then there's all that making up to look forward to. Do you reckon he'll go for it? <laughs> Watch and learn, Bobby Dazzler. Watch and learn. Go get him, Tiger. Mm -hmm. You've been busy? Eh? Yeah, I've been looking for voluntary work overseas. So far? For me. Really? Yeah, but I've been having trouble finding a placement. I just want doctors or teachers. I never knew that was something you wanted to do. Well, neither did I until recently. I mean, you know, I've seen famine and disasters on the news and I've always wished I could help, but never went further than sending a check. Ashley must be very proud of you. Yeah? Yeah, he is. He understands it's something I've got to do. Diane, I need to talk to you about yesterday. I meant every word and, uh, well, I hope you'll reconsider my offer. Uh, bye. What is it, Val? Well, I suppose you're probably mad as hell at us, but uh, just come to say I'm sorry. It's not me you should be apologising to. Are you going to tell her what I said? I care too much about Diane to do that. I thought you cared about me too. Well, if that's how you feel, maybe I should just pack my stuff and go. If that's what you want. I'll go today if you like. There's no rush. Taking them so long. We're waiting for an hour already. We've only been here 15 minutes. Now sit down before you wear the carpet out. Sorry, love. Do you want a cup of tea? No. If they say they're going to see you too, then that's when they should see you. I mean, they must know how difficult it is being kept hanging around under circumstances like these. What do they think they're playing at making us wait in the corridor? The least they can do is provide a waiting. Diane, where are you going? I can't do this. What do you mean you can't? We've got no choice. No, Jack. Not we. Me. I've got no choice. It's happening in here. And I'm not in control, and neither are they. Well, at least listen to what they've got to say. I know what they're going to say. The only thing I don't know is how long they're going to give me. You don't know that. Why else would they call me back so soon? They gave me mum six months. We buried her three weeks later. She went downhill from the minute she came out of the doctor's office. I'd be better off not knowing. Yeah, that was nearly 40 years ago. Things have changed since then. And anyway, running away isn't going to solve anything. Tell me, what do you need me to do? Just be there and don't go to pieces. That's my job. Mrs Blackstock. Whatever happens, love. We'll face it together. Please, take a seat. Sorry to have kept you waiting. That's OK. I didn't expect to be back so soon. Result times vary, Mrs Blackstock. Fortunately, we already had a team meeting scheduled for this morning. 
And as you're getting married soon, we're able to push it through just that little bit quicker. Can you just tell me, please? The results of the CT scan show the cancer hasn't spread to any of the major organs. So the news is good? Yes, it is. We can remove the tumour, and with treatment, you stand a good chance of making a recovery. Oh. Solved mystery, have you? What makes you think that sneaking up on somebody is funny? What's that you've got? Incriminating evidence? Mind your own business. Well, that's rich coming from an old busybody like you. Command my word to love your neighbour, Edna, not to spy on them. So, uh, <clears throat> now we know the cancer hasn't spread. What happens next? We operate. What we do is to remove the tumour and a margin of healthy tissue either side and any surrounding lymph nodes. It's likely that we'll have to create a stoma. What's that? It's where a bit of the bowel's brought through the stomach wall to allow a bag to collect the waste externally. How long will she have before then? Well, that'll depend on her treatment. If she has to have any chemotherapy, we'll have to wait until all traces of malignant cells are eradicated. When will you operate? In about a month's time. But please be assured that bowel cancer is slow moving and we've caught it relatively early. If the operation's a success, you stand a very good chance of making a full recovery. Debbie, what a surprise. Well, I just wanted to see you off. Very thoughtful of you. You all right? Yeah, fine. You finished the book? Well, I'm on the last chapter, so maybe I can bring it round later. Yeah, sure. It's lovely to see you again, Ashley. And you. Keep an eye on him, won't you? I'll do my best. Bye-bye, oh, Gabby. Good luck with everything, and maybe I'll see you in Africa one day. I'd like that. Well, not too soon, I hope. Guess what's her name leaving again? Yeah. Well, this time she's going for good. Oh. Bye! All I heard was that it hadn't spread. After that, I heard nothing but me heart thumping. <laughs> We've got a lot to be grateful for. Once they remove this tumour, everything should be all right. I'm going to be OK. You better be. I booked the honeymoon. Oh, Jack. I was convinced they were going to tell me my number was up. We always think the worst. At least now I've got a fighting chance. And you'll beat it. Of course I will. I've got you in my corner. Yeah, and we've got plenty to keep us busy organising this wedding. Mind, if we did postpone it, maybe you could have the operation sooner. No. We've waited long enough to tie the knot. Nothing's going to spoil our big day. <laughs> Besides, they can't operate before the wedding. Why not? I wouldn't have time to find a colostomy bag to match my frock. Oh, come on, Rodney. What's keeping you? Hello? No, Mr Blackstock isn't in at the moment. I, I really can't take a message because I was just about... Oh, hang on a minute. Right, go ahead. Tell him to pick up the tickets for his Egyptian cruise. <laughs> no, no, love, don't worry. You haven't spoiled a surprise. <laughs> I'm glad I know. I was thinking of leaving him. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> that is some making up present. I think I know myself well enough to say I won't be easy to live with in the next few months. That's OK. You can be as grumpy and as angry as you like. You may regret saying that. Oh, thanks. Diane, I've been trying to get hold of you. F What's wrong? I've been to hospital and got me test results. What happened? What did they say? Can you give us a minute, love? Yeah, sure.
well? It hasn't spread, and they're going to operate, so you can stop writing my obituary. Oh, my God! <laughs> I don't know what I would have done! Oh, spare us the melodrama. This isn't Wuthering Heights, and you certainly know Heathcliff. All I want is to look after you and prove I still care. Hang on a minute. What do you want? How come this is all about you? I'm the one with cancer here. And now, if you don't mind, I'm feeling tired. Yes, of course. <laughs> if there's anything you need... Jack, isn't it great news? Yeah, the best. <sighs> so, when are they going to operate? In about a month's time. What? Well, you don't have to wait that long. Go private. I'll pay. No, thanks. But this is madness. I could have you in the best hospital in the country tomorrow. My bed's booked. I'm going into Hot and General and that's that. Oh, Diane, please reconsider. You can go into Hot and General tomorrow if you want. My mind's made up. <sighs> Jack, talk to her. Well, I'd feel happier if you were to have this operation sooner and all. Dr. Baniki rushed those tests through specially. She's done right by us so far. I'll stick with her and go in next month as planned. Look, that's what you want, love. It is. Diane, please reconsider. <laughs> What's going on? Not calling last orders, are you? No, not yet. I've got an announcement to make. As you know, me and Jack are getting married. And we'd like to invite you all to the wedding. Yay! Well, as long as there's a free bar. Aye, there's one tonight No, all. The drinks are on the house. Yay! Oh, yeah. Yay! What's up? You're not bothered about them getting married, are you? Don't be silly. But then what is it? You have a row with Val? Actually, I've finished with Val. And about time, too. I thought you were never going to see the light. Right, this calls for a toast. Are you sure this is what you want? Of course it is. How many times do I have to say it? I'll marry you. No, I meant feeding the 5,000. So much for an intimate do. Never fear. There'll be plenty of intimacy after the wedding. <laughs> You're an amazing woman, do you know that? And I love you too, Jack Sugden. <sighs> oh, Edna. Well, there's Edna. Oh. She's just washing these blackberries. Now he's going to bring them across to you. Oh. Hey, how come you know all the best places for blackberry picking? I could have filled another two buckets. Mm. Oh, I think I'll give my share to Jarvis. He could make some blackberry wine with them. Oh, that's not like you to encourage his home brewing. <laughs> well, perhaps you could give them to him for me. Yeah, of course, no problem. I'm seeing him later for a pint. Well, it would be better if you gave them to him now. <laughs> well, surely they'll keep for an hour or two. Yeah, but on the other hand, the fresher they are, the better the wine will be. Oh. Cup of tea, Edna. No, thank you. But a sherry, then. Pearl, there is no need. If I can't show you a bit of hospitality when well, it's coming to something. <laughs> oh, you're going. I can't stay here. I couldn't stand to spend the night under the same roof knowing that you don't want us anymore. I'm sorry, though. I didn't mean it to be like this. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll miss you. You really have to rush off? No point in hanging around. Can't you stay for at least one more drink? I knew we had some sherry glasses somewhere. It's just Leonard keeps putting them away in daft places. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Pearl. It... This isn't a social visit. It's not. To turn a blind eye is as good as a lie, and I have to be honest with you. I know about Frank Bernard. I don't know what you're talking about. I had my suspicions about your relationship with him, so I went looking for information. I don't know what you think you've discovered, but whatever it is, it's a rotten pack of lies. Pearl! I know he's in jail for rape. Here, a present for you. I'll never eat all of them. Edna said they're to make wine. Edna? And why would she be giving them to me? She nearly bit me head off at street earlier. 
Maybe it's a peace offering. How come she didn't bring her myself? Well, how do I know? She's over at my place with Pearl now. I reckon she's pumping her for information. I don't know. All this sleuthing business gone to her head. She'll be getting a pipe and a deer stalker next. <laughs> now there's a hat I'd pay good money to see her nowhere in. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you poke your nose into my business? I bet you're really delighted with yourself, aren't you? Got the scoop on the bottle blonde. Feeling smug, are you? Have you any idea what it's like to have newspapers hounding you, to have people whispering behind your back, your neighbours snub you for something you haven't done? I came here to get away from all of that. How could I tell people what he'd done? I wish I could hate him. I wish I could turn my back on him. But I can't. He's my son. Oh, I know. I know. Look, I have a son too. They don't always turn out to be the men we hoped they'd be, but we loved them all the same. What else can we do? You won't tell Leonard, will you? No. No, I won't. But Len has a right to know, especially if Frank is to live under his roof. No, but... It was very easy for me to find out, Pearl. It's only a matter of time before others discover the truth. Thank you.